come back. In this video, we will run a face recognition using the state-of-the-art libraries with deep learning using the KNN algorithm as classifier. First, you need to download this code from my GitHub. Then, assuming that you have downloaded those zip file, you will extract this. Then, inside the delete face recognition, we need to create a folder named classifier to store our model.clf. Then, also, we, we need to create a new folder named train img for the classifier to train every images available. In this train img folder, we will add pictures or images of persons we would like to recognize. I have already my pictures here. I'll just copy them. Inside this train img folder. Okay, done. Each of these folders have 100 items of pictures on it. Say for Gal, we have 100 items. For Glenn, also we have 100 items. And for Jimmy, we also have 100 items. To avoid overfitting during our training, it is important that each of these folders have the same quantity on it. Then we will install the required packages to run this face recognition. We will install these three packages, the scikit-learn, the face recognition, and the OpenCV contrib, one by one. First, we will install this scikit-learn package. Then we will install this face recognition package. Finally, we will install this OpenCV contrib. Done. We already have installed the three required packages to run our face recognition based on the lib. Then I will use my Visual Studio Code as my editor. In this train main.py, we will import the necessary libraries like OS, Math, we will import the neighbors from sklearn which we installed earlier and the face recognition package that we installed then we'll import the pickle this function will create a clf file for classifying faces which needs two arguments the train directory in our case we will use our train img and the path to save our model we create this x as an empty list for encoded images and this y as an empty list for the respective names of encoded images. Then looping all the folders inside our train img, then processing all the images inside the train img, loading every images and getting their bounding boxes. Then, appending each encoded images to X and also appending their respective names to Y. In this KNN classifier, 
we will use the parameters neighbors is equals to neighbors that would be equal to 2 as we use our default here and our algorithm will be the KNN algo which would be the ball tree to compute the nearest neighbor we use this parameter weights is equals to distance then we will fit our KNN classifier to x and y saving our model that CLF in a path provided we will call this whole function with two parameters the train IMG and the path to save our model.clf will provide the path here for our train directory we will use the train images folder we will use the classifier folder with the name train knn model dot clf then we will run this train main dot py this would take some time we have now completed the training as you can see the train knn model dot clf is already stored in the classifier folder in this face record knn.py we will again import the necessary packages like the cvto the time pcol and the face recognition we now have this predict function which uses two arguments the image path in our case we will use our frame and our model which we have already in our classifier folder and we set our threshold value to default 0 0.6 which means it needs an accuracy of 40 and above if you use here 0 0.04 it will need an accuracy of 60 and above we define our IMG as our image path or our frame then this face box will get the bonding box of each frame if no face is detected it will just return an empty list then we will encode our frame with its bounding box to face encodings then defining the closest distances that compute the closest distance or the best match from every face encodings if the closest distance is within the threshold or less than or equal to 0 0.6 then it will return the predicted name and the bounding box location else it will just return a known name and also return a bounding box then if you want you can flip your camera then creating a frame copy to resize the frame to 0 0.25 then converting the frame copy from bgr to rgb then creating this prediction variable to call the predict function which we use the resize frame copy on our model path we use the train knn model from classifier folder then define our funds to cb2 hershey duplex then looping the predictions to extract the name and the bounding box location on every face detected then scaling back the top right bottom and the left since the frame copy is resized to 0 0.25 and then we will draw a rectangle of every face detected then displaying the name on the top of the bounding box we will now run this face recogen and that py as you can see it can now detect jimmy and gal but we still have not displayed our fps value and recognition accuracy 
So we will stop this to edit some lines for our FPS and accuracy value. For our accuracy, we need to to return this value, accu, which is 100 minus closest distances times 100. Then we'll, we will add a variable here, ACC, and also for the unknown prediction, ACC. And for the loop, and in zip, so now we have modified our predict function to return this accuracy. We need to extract this accuracy value in our predictions we define our start time is equals to time that time for our fps computation then in here we will extract the return prediction value then we'll define a name which hold the predicted name and accuracy value in a float then we define a size variable which will vary depending on the size of our bounding box. Then we will need to input that size variable here. Then we will print the name together with its accuracy. Then we will define our end time is equals to time that time. Then calculating our FPS to end time minus start time divided by 1 then creating a shaded rectangle of yellow then updating our FPS then we add the CV2 put text in black color to be displayed inside the shaded yellow rectangle we have already modified our code it will now print or display the FPS value with its recognition accuracy. Let's run this code. As you can see, it, it now have this accuracy value and FPS value.